Welcome to Continental Connect HR Chats. I'm Heather Krentler, VP of HR, here today with... Amanda Brink, Recruiting Manager. Wendy Carroll, Senior HR Manager. Thanks, guys. This is our first attempt at an internal podcast, so bear with us and forgive us if we sound really ridiculous. Our topic today is an exciting one because we've just launched something that for the first time for the company. Amanda, do you want to bring us up to speed on what's happening today, March 1st? Yeah, we are now going to have internal job postings available to every employee through Paycom. Messages will be sent out through Paycom, an all-company message, as well as through Nowsta. Awesome. Very exciting. Um, and what do we mean by internal job postings? All current opportunities will be available to all current employees through Nowsta and Paycom. Great. Very cool. Is this something, Wendy, is this something that you think people will be excited about? Well, I think all of our employers are looking for other opportunities. They don't want to stay in the same role all the time. Mm -hmm. So this is a great opportunity. Maybe an employee wants to develop. Maybe they want to learn more. Maybe they want to try a different division Mm -hmm. or even possibly their own personal life. They're moving or something happened that Mm -hmm. they need to make an adjustment with their job. This will let everyone get the chance to see what's out there and what they can do next. Mm Mm-hmm. I think that's a great point. I think that a lot of our people are actively thinking about what they want to do next, but I think there's also a large portion of our workforce who um, haven't given that a lot of thought, and maybe this is a way for that for that to spark their interest. True. And, um, you know, I know sometimes it just takes someone saying, oh, have you considered doing this, or did you see that that this team is looking for this kind of person? I think you'd be good um, to generate that next step in their career. Okay, so let's imagine for a minute that um, that I'm on the Paycom app, and I see this new job opportunities bar, and I expand it, and I and I click that internal job postings link. That's what it's called, right? Internal job postings. Internal jo- or it won't say internal job posting; it'll say job opportunities. Job opportunities. Yeah. And I click on that, and I start looking through all the different openings, and I see one that that piques my interest. What do I do? Well, I think that you probably have to first think about if you meet the minimum qualifications through in the job posting itself. Um, and if you if you feel like you do, then go ahead and apply. Um, our a member of our recruiting team will reach out to you, um, and we will have a discussion about your actual qualifications, where you're at in your current job, um, and discuss the potential opportunity. Do I have to have a resume? Not necessarily. Um, it would be helpful, uh, although not a requirement. What if? But like, what if I'm not sure? What if I don't understand some of the minimum qualifications, or, or I think I do, um, I think I'm a fit, but I'm not 100% sure what, what should I do. Should I still just apply? Should I talk to someone? I would recommend that you still apply. I think it's, I think it's the job of the recruiters to um, emphasize what the actual qualifications are and be able to talk through what the qualifications are with any candidate, whether internal or not. So is that like a... Is that, like a real interview, or is is that is my conversation with the recruiter sort of also sort of my chance to confidentially figure out whether or not this is a fit for me? I think you can think of it as a little bit of both. I think it would probably be um, sort of a phone interview, but it would also be kept pretty confidential unless otherwise given permission to explain to your manager or to anyone else in the company that this new individual is interested in a new opportunity. So, Wendy. I, I think that I empathize with a lot of people out there. I think that it's easy for us to assume that everyone has a wonderful relationship with their manager, uh, and I hope that's the case. But what if there's someone out there who isn't 100% comfortable telling their manager that they're interested in making a move? What should they do? Should they talk to them first? Well, that's understandable. It's really up to the employee. I mean, what is your relationship with your manager? If you have a good relationship... You're definitely, you're, the greatest thing would be for you to talk to your manager, explain the changes you are looking to make. Say you saw something out there and you want to know more information. And most of our managers will be very happy to help you along that path. Mm-hmm. If you don't have that relationship or you don't want them to get upset that you're leaving, or maybe you're leaving because you guys just don't really get along, mm-hmm. that's okay too. Then reach out to recruiting and just mm-hmm. let them know, hey, I'm interested in a role, but I'm not sure my manager is going to be happy with that. Mm-hmm. So how can we walk through this? What about on the reverse? What if I've been talking openly with my manager for a long time about what I want to do next, and I finally see this opportunity pop up? Should I expect my manager to let me know about that or tell me, hey, you should you should go ahead and apply? 
Not all of our managers know of every opportunity out there. Okay. So the best thing to do is, if you are looking for opportunities, watch the Paycom portal. Watch for those. Let your manager know, too. Give them a heads up. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hurt to even reach out to recruiting mm -hmm. and say, if this role comes up, this is mm -hmm. kind of what I want to do next. Can you let me know? Mm -hmm. The more feelers, the better. So, Amanda, does, does your team know right away whether or not someone's qualified? On paper, sometimes. It, it, it really depends on the job, honestly. Um, again, our HR team, whether we like it or not, we, we don't know every single person that works for the company. Um, but that just means that we're going to give every internal applicant an opportunity to apply to any open role. And that will give us the opportunity to get to, get to know you a little bit better so that we can decide or help you decide what's a better fit for you if you're looking for a different opportunity. Okay, so there's also, I think that there's there's meeting the minimum qualifications, but then there's also this concept of eligibility. So I think it helping other people understand, like, what does it mean to be eligible? Because you're saying, I hear you saying, anyone can apply, and that's true, but not anyone can be considered. Not anyone is act, actually going to be considered by the hiring team for the role. So you said, Amanda, that they need to meet the minimum qualifications, about, which is all about their ability to do the job. But isn't there, Wendy, isn't there something else that we that we consider from an HR standpoint before letting someone make a move internally? There is. And as an employee yourself, you should first consider, have I been with a company long enough to do my job well? And there's no specific time frame, but maybe six months to a year, you've been there long enough to understand your role. And if you're doing it well, you need to meet all the requirements of that job and to really be good at them and capable before you consider making another step in the company somewhere else. Master what you know first before you move on. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's a fair point. And I think that that six months to a year minimum, I think that's very reasonable. I think that it also depends on the nature of the role that you're in. There are jobs that take many, many years to, be, to achieve excellence and before you can make a move. So um, that's a fair point. Um, what about uh, performance? So if somebody isn't maybe doing a great job currently, maybe they're getting some feedback from their managers that, that isn't glowing, what, how is, does that come into play? That's always important because we will look at how you are doing at the job and when you don't want to keep this confidential, we'll talk to your manager about your performance. Mm -hmm. But you know best where you're at. Mm -hmm. You know if you are hitting all your objectives or not. Mm -hmm. So you should be getting feedback. And if you're not getting feedback, you should always be open to asking your manager, how am I doing? Mm -hmm. What can I do next? Mm -hmm. What else can I help with to learn more? Right there, that'll tell you a lot. And that's mentioned our team quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So is it fair to say then that... Sometimes people are just miscast. Sometimes people just get hired into a job that, that isn't a right fit for them. That doesn't mean that they couldn't be right for something else. Um, and that if they aren't currently performing to the level that they should in their current position, that doesn't automatically disqualify them from making a move. But we will look into, are they, are they making every best effort? Is that fair? That's very fair. When we talk to employees, and sometimes even their managers will find out they are working in a particular area, and they're just not hitting maybe point A and point B, but they excel at C and D. Right. So we know to look deeper to see what type of role really fits with an employee. Mm -hmm. And just because those tasks at that particular job, they get half of it, but the tasks they're getting are better fit to another job perfectly. Mm -hmm. Those are the details we look at when we talk to employees. That's great. That's great. So... Um, the last thing I guess I want to get to is, let's say this goes really well, and uh, and I've applied internally, I've talked with my manager, I've talked with HR, uh, I've I've been interviewed, let's say by the by the hiring team, and they choose me. What can I expect? How does that work, Amanda? So the recruiting team and the HR team uh, will work with the managers of both locations. If you're transferring locations or divisions. 
Um, to talk about transition dates, we, we want to make sure that both managers feel comfortable with incoming candidates and outgoing uh, employees. Um, so we will work with them to ensure a transition date um, and also communicate that properly to uh, you and wherever you're going. That's great. Give me the top three reasons why I should apply to something internally. Number one, we don't want you to look elsewhere for work. Mm -hmm. We want to keep you. We, our employees are our most important assets. Absolutely. So we want to keep you, and we will work with you on that. That's okay. our number one reason. Yeah. What else? And to expand on that a little bit, you know, our company is so dynamic that I feel like once you're here and you've been here a little while and you know the knowledge of the company, um, moving you to a, a different division or a different location, whatever it may be, is just going to help each and every one of us and, and you and the locations with continuing to create that um, that strong culture that we're that we're working so hard to uh, to create here. That's so true. I mean, bringing fresh eyes from one part of the business into another part of the business can really open us up for innovation. It can open us up for process improvement. Uh, just fresh perspective is really helpful for the business. What are some, what, what do you think, Amanda, are the top reasons people seem to tap recruiting to make a move internally? Sometimes it's location. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes people decide that, uh, you know, the commute is too much for them and they're looking for a different opportunity for that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's financial. Sometime it, sometimes it's simply um, growth or um, wanting to just see a different division or a different location because they truly love Continental. It, it could be a handful of things. You said you mentioned finance. What if I'm perfectly content where I'm at doing what I'm doing? but I'd really like to make more money. Should I apply? You can, but nothing is ever promised. I mean, each of our locations and each of our divisions um, have various different pay rates. Nothing is necessarily set in stone. That kind of goes along with the dynamic of our business. Mm -hmm. um, so don't bank on it if that's your, if that's your number one Oh, reason. I'm such a fan of a pun, <laughs> a well-placed pun. <laughs> to, to repeat it, don't bank on it. Um, <laughs> Uh, so really come to the table with, quote, unquote, the right reasons. It's yeah. it's more about coming to the table for the work. Yes. And trusting that um, uh, trusting that the compensation will be appropriate for the work being performed. Exactly. Okay. Okay, so in terms of, just to recap, the overall process, I need to pay attention to Paycom and see what's out there and then, uh, and, and, take that upon myself to be the captain of my own development and growth. But then, Wendy, what is it again? Is it do I, do I apply first and then let my manager know, or do I let my manager know first and then apply? Again, that's your comfort level. Okay. We will work either way with you. If you have an open relationship, please talk to your manager first because that does help us help you in a more efficient way. Okay, great. And then it goes into your camp, Amanda. Mm -hmm. And I, what do I expect again? So if you see a posting that you're interested in through Paycom, please go ahead and apply. Um, and a member of our, our recruiting team will reach out to you to discuss, again, your minimum qualifications, reasons why you're kind of looking to leave. And then we will get the ball rolling on the recruiting and interviewing process at that point. Okay. And then I get the offer. Do I start the next day? No. Not okay. necessarily. Okay. Um, the recruiting and HR team will work with the uh, outgoing manager and incoming manager to make sure that the transition dates align with the recruiting for a backfill, as well as to make sure that the transition date is okay for the incoming manager as well. Okay. So it's all a partnership. Yep. Awesome. All right. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Um, we hope that this has been helpful for each and every one of you and that um, and, and we applaud you for taking your career seriously and taking the time to think about what could be next for you here at Continental. Have a great day.